today is the first day of summer. I hate the color. Good morning, YouTube. Hi, welcome if you're new here. My name is Tina, and I am going to be a sixth year upper elementary teacher. Uh, as of right now, I will be teaching fourth and fifth science and health as long as things don't change. Uh, that's what I ended this previous school year as, and today is the first day of summer. And it feels so good and so hard earned, not gonna lie, but this morning I picked up something fun for my classroom which I will show you guys when I leave. Uh, I had a great workout this morning, started a new fitness program, and I'm just feeling good. Currently I just sat and made my to-do list. I trimmed some chicken for meal prep and I'm getting ready to go to Lowe's because this vlog, as you can tell by the title, I am painting my classroom this week. Uh, so my school doesn't have the funds to pay the custodians to paint our classrooms just because of funding and they have so many other projects that they need to work on but they could get us the supplies and the paint we just had to do it ourselves so uh today i'm gonna go to lowe's to pick up a couple things to get that done uh they did get me rollers and paint brushes i do want like the extend like the pole for the little handheld rollers if that makes sense i don't know what it's called uh but i want that and I also need to get a paint tray liner. That's what I need to grab. And then we're going to go to school and we're going to come up with a game plan. I'm not starting painting today, but I want to start pulling things away from the walls and just come up with a game plan of how I'm going to get this done. And yeah, and then we're going to come home. I've got some vlogs to edit, reels to work on and edit. And then that's it. That's, that's the day. So I am going to get ready to go run to Lowe's, swing by school for a few minutes, and then come home. My goal, it is currently 10, 10. My goal is to be home by like 12, 12.30 at the latest. So we're gonna get ready and then we're gonna go. But before I go, look how adorable this little guy is. He's all curled up in a ball because it's pretty cold here in Maine today. It's currently 57. Um, and it's super breezy, so with the wind chill, it's even colder. We contemplated turning the heat on yesterday, um, but he's just adorable looking, so. All right, so I'm gonna get ready and get out of here, and I will talk to you guys in a few minutes, because like I said, I have something outside that I gotta show you on my way out that I picked up today, which I am so giddy about, but I'll show you in a few seconds. So, the exciting thing that I got for my classroom, uh, I was on Facebook at the gym because I can't focus on anything and a local restaurant owner shared that she had a bunch of stools she was looking to get rid of. They just need to be sanded and painted. One's in pretty rough shape. One's in rough shape, but not as rough of shape. They definitely need to be sanded and painted, but I'm gonna turn this around and show you. My kids are gonna love these next year. So here they are. Uh, like I said, they definitely need to be sanded and painted but I think they have great potential. They are solid. They're like industrial stools, like they came from a restaurant bar. So pretty excited about these. Some TLC later this summer, they will be ready to go. They are currently living in my jungle of a driveway uh, because I need to put them back in the shed, which I'm not going back there right now. So when I go back there later today, I'll toss them in there, but really, really excited about that snag. All right, now it's time to go to a hey so I am now in my classroom and I forgot how much of a hot mess I left this place. So I'm going to spin you around and give you a quick tour of the disaster that is now my classroom that I have to paint uh, before I need to take some stuff down. I just, I don't know. I don't know where to start and that's why I'm here today. I really want to get started on painting like right away, but I can't because I need to come up with a game plan so that I don't get stressed out and work harder than I need to. So this is the current state. This part is like terrible. This needs to be cleaned up completely. Those two need to go home when I'm done painting. These are all of my extra bins and supplies. These are all extra supplies. These are all books that were left behind 
by the last teacher that I decided to keep, extra notebooks, and extra, extra notebooks. Now, this cabinet, I, if you watch my setup vlog, you know I want it gone. Uh, so I cleaned out most of it, anything that's in here I just don't want. I put a note on the front of it that says, oh hey there, take me far, far away from here and please don't bring me back. Uh, so I just put my name and the room that it's coming from. That way they don't bring it back to this room. And then all of this needs to come off the shelves. This needs to go down with the other like stuff that teachers don't want. Same with that. And then all of this needs to get cleaned up. My goal for while I'm here today is come up with a game plan of how I wanna tackle this. I have to have my room done ASAP because they cannot start the floors until my classroom is painted. And I have the first room of the entire school. So basically the entire school is on hold until I get this done. So I have to get to painting, but I'm just not doing it today. They're not here today anyway. And they basically like, without saying it, said we have a week to get it done. So I, also need to take some stuff home, like this home. I want to take obviously my plant home. I need to take my air plant home, this plant, that plant, and that one down there. And then these bins are potential mentor texts for science units that I want to take home and just kind of look over and prepare myself. A little bit later in the summer, uh, once I'm done painting, I'll probably work on a scope and sequence at some point. And then I need to like, I need to straighten up. So what I'm thinking is come up with a list, the order that things have to get done, go home today, mentally prepare myself for how tiring this is going to be because I think I underestimate that. Uh, and then get some stuff done around the house today. I have to get the house cleaned. Um, I need to get a vlog worked on. I need to get some reels edited. So I have plenty to do to keep me busy. I need to study for NASM. Oh, I need to take home note cards. Let me grab those before I forget. So yeah, that is everything that needs to get done before I leave today. I am gonna show you my paint color. I'm like so excited about it and I'm hoping it'll look great. Uh, so let me put this down. I need to come up with a list of things that I need to take home today. I need to come up with a list of things that need to get done. And yeah, so let me make my lists and I'll run you through them and then we'll talk. I just kind of like threw some stuff down on papers. So this is my goal for this summer. I need to wash a lot of the bins that are over on that shelf. They're pretty dirty, especially uh, those top white sterilites right there and then my supply caddy is right there. So I'll probably just hose some of them down and throw some in the dishwasher. Um, obviously paint my classroom. I need to clean out my closet. I need to paint the bookshelves, which I'll show you in a second, and I need to go through all of the cabinets. Now, I did start to go I obviously I just showed you I went through this cabinet here I need to clear these shelves because one they have to take them out of the room and in order to do that they need to be completely cleared off and two I want to paint them I don't know if I'm gonna go white because I have some Ikea shelves that are white and then they'll all match or if I want to try to get like a similar color to this you guys know I love that like minty Tiffany blue but that needs to be done and then for the cabinets I have two cabinets there one on each side of the sink two cabinets there and then another four on this side. I have only gone through some of them when I set up my classroom over spring break. So I need to finish going through what is left and kind of just pare down on stuff, but that can happen in, the, uh, in August when I'm setting up my classroom. I don't have the energy to do it now because I wanna enjoy my summer and I'd rather do it at the tail end of summer when I'm excited and I wanna be here, um, more so than right now where I still am in like, it's summer and I wanna relax mode. So those are my summer to-do lists for the classroom between now and September. Taking home with me today are plants, index cards, my uh, pink Yeti, my phone tripod, and then some of my essential oils. And then when I come in tomorrow, I need to clean off this table that I'm using right now. I need to clear off the counter behind my table, which I just showed you. I need to take down everything off the walls. So I need to take down this sign, this tapestry, the buoy, and some posters that were left. Uh, the bulletin boards are all staying, but I am going to cover them. Uh, and I've got a couple things on the wall up here and I need to take down, which you can't see behind the paint stuff, but I need to take down my affirmation station. And then I am going to begin cutting in. So what that means is 
anything that's affixed to the wall, you kind of just paint around it. That way later on you can just roll um, and you don't have to worry about getting anything because you already have like a two to three inch border around anything that's fixed. So it'll be like that big of a stripe all around it. So my goal is to get that done for at least two walls, fingers crossed, we will see. So the school thankfully provided a lot of these supplies. The only thing that I did pick up was I already had one of these. So I just picked up the liners and I brought in my holder. And then I did pick up this four foot pole uh, because they got me a roller, but I don't want to use a ladder after I cut in. So this will allow me the ability to just roll. So that is what this is for. And there was one that I really wanted, but it was $30 and this one was only like four. So we went with this one. So now what you guys are really here for is you don't care about how I'm going to paint the room. You just want to see what color I'm going to paint the room. So I'm going to show you. I'm excited. I'm hoping I don't hate it. I mean, worst case, if I do, I can just paint it again next year, but I really don't want to have to. So cross your fingers that it does not look like crap on the walls because I will be devastated. So if you watched my last vlog, you know that I had some serious difficulties picking a paint color because I am like the world's most indecisive person. But I think, I think I got a good color. I don't know how it's going to go with like my minty blues and stuff like that, but I think it's going to look really nice on the walls. So let's take a look. Before I show you, it is Benjamin Moore. Again, the paint, the school district and our custodians and all that did provide, provide the paint. They got me two gallons and I went with this gray wisp color. Uh, it's really hard to show up on camera, but it's more of like a, like a light greenish gray. So I feel like that's pretty darn close to what it is. So super, super pretty. I'm hoping again that it looks nice. I don't really have a lot to work with, with these floors and these counter colors. I really tried to pretend that the floor didn't exist, but I just couldn't. Like I said, I'm not sure how this is going to look with that minty blue, but believe it or not, I am kind of phasing out that blue color anyway. Like anything that I have that is that minty blue color is not anything that I purchased in the last few years. The last few years, all I purchased are like things that are white. That way I can use them with literally any color scheme that I want to switch to. So I can always spray paint them. Like this was a battleship gray color and I painted it that color. So in reality, like I could paint that stuff. I could spray paint it whatever i am phasing it out but like my store expense were so expensive that they will be here until the day they die basically so yeah that's been fun all right i'm gonna gather my stuff get out of here go home and vlog and edit a vlog and edit a reel i gotta pack up my plants and all of that stuff it's currently 11 15 so i'm gonna give myself like 15 minutes to get everything gathered and get home which means i will be home before noon like i was hoping i am <laughs> can't bend down this far. My legs are so sore from the gym. Hold on. Okay. So I am taking home my barcode scanner because I would love to do some book inventory this summer. Uh, I don't know if I will. I may just save it for the fall when I come in, but I do want to take it home that way. If I want it, I have it. I don't have to use it, but I would rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. You know, the, the good old saying. So it should be good. We'll see. I'm going to take the box and the cords and everything. That way, hopefully, if it needs to be charged, I can do that right at home. So, all right, let's get back to packing. Why won't this look? It is currently 2.55, so it's almost 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock. It's almost 3 o'clock. Uh, I just got home because I decided that I was going to go mail the Father's Day card that I didn't send my dad on time because hashtag daughter of the year. Granted, I didn't send the Mother's Day card to my mom on time either, so I don't even think they're going to be remotely surprised. That's all right. They're used to me. But... I forgot that today is a federal holiday. Today, Juneteenth is observed, so the post office was closed. Normally, I wouldn't care. However, 
I live in a tourist town on the coast of Maine. People come from all over the country to come to this town. And normally what takes a two minute drive to drive to the post office today, it took me over 10 minutes just to get a mile and a half down the road. So I just wasted like 25 minutes of my day trying to get to the post office and back without killing somebody because the Jersey girl in me cannot handle the traffic and people not knowing what they're doing. I've done laundry, I've made the bed, I have mostly edited the reel that's gonna go up today. I'm trying to work on a YouTube short. Uh, I still need to put my plants away. So I brought my plants inside for my classroom, but because Dusty was in a Zoom meeting with his boss, who is our best friend, like doesn't care if I'm working in the background, I didn't wanna ruin their like team meeting. So I just put them on my desk. I left them in like the Sterilite bin that I used to bring them home. Um, so I do need to go through those and find a place for them. And I need to fold that basket of laundry, which I put right there. I'm going to try to stay busy because all I want to do is nap. I'm so tired today. I got up at 5.30 on the first day of summer. So it feels good because like I was home from the gym. I had a workout. I walked a mile and I was home before 8, 8.30 I think we got home. I think I ate breakfast at 8.30. So like I definitely get the day started early, but whew, it, it's early. So I am going to knock some more stuff off this list. That way I can say that I had a really productive day and I will talk to you guys later. It's currently 7.30. I just got home from the gym about a half an hour ago. And I'm currently getting ready to go into my classroom to start painting and I'm so excited. The only issue is I'm having trouble finding like old clothes to paint in. I do have a pair of like a super old pair of Lululemon leggings somewhere. My thunder thighs chewed a hole through. Um, but I don't know where they are and I don't want to destroy this pair because this pair is good. I do save old ones when my legs, because I've, I've got big thighs, they rub and friction and it wears them down. I do save my old leggings. I just don't know what I did with them. Actually, I think I literally just found them. I've been looking for them for two days now and I just found them. All right. So now we need like an old crummy tank top. Well, safe to say these are them because while I was going through my leggings trying to find the hole, my finger went right through it. So these are the ones that we're, we're gonna wear because we're not gonna ruin a good pair of leggings. And leggings are life. I don't really own anything else for pants. But I need to find a tank top and then I need to make breakfast and then we are out of here. So I am going to get ready to go to school and start painting and I am so excited. I'm a little bit nervous about, I think I'm underestimating how much work this is going to be. But it's going to keep me busy for a week or so probably. I'm just going to try to knock out as much as I can and just be, I'm just, I'm excited. So I'm gonna get ready and I will see you guys when I get to school. Hey, you guys. So I am now in my classroom, obviously. Super fun. I'm gonna get right to painting. I do want to preface this by saying, let me get into my, my normal vlogging position. Uh, one second. I wanna preface this video by saying, I know it makes absolutely zero sense to paint my room and then pack everything up. I am aware because I know somebody's gonna comment on that because people comment on my thought processes a lot. Listen, when you are neurodivergent, your brain works a little bit differently than other people's. For me, 
it's getting the daunting task of painting out of the way so that I can do the easier task of packing up. I know that makes no sense, but to my ADHD, like inattentivity brain, it works. That makes me feel so much more at ease than trying to pack everything up and then paint. I know that they need my room painted in order for me to pack up to get everything done. So no matter what it has to get done, but just logistically, I know it doesn't make sense, but for my anxiety and stress levels, this works for me. So we are going to cut in with a purdy brush and some handy paint pails. We're gonna blast some music. We're gonna knock this stuff out while I am still like with it. And my goal is to get this whole wall cut in. While I was at the car wash this morning, I remembered that I have to meet a coworker, a former coworker for lunch. So I have three hours until I have to be there. Thankfully, it's like a mile down the road. But if I'm like super covered in paint, I would love to run home and change, but we'll see. We shall see. So I'm gonna get this going and let's get this room painted. There's no turning back now. <laughs> so nervous. These are nervous giggles, but I'm excited. Hey you guys, life update. It has been about an hour since I last talked to you. So I'm going to spin you around and show you what I've gotten done. It doesn't look like a lot, but it's gonna save me time. So let me show you what I got done. One whole wall, I got everything cut in, which means I can now just go through and roll. I don't have to worry about edges or like going on to anything. I'm just gonna go in like the area, almost like coloring inside the lines. So that's all done. I did all up there, all over here is done, all the way up to this door. I have an hour until I have to meet my friend for lunch. So I am currently, because this door is like recessed, I am painting this door jam before I go and I'm trying to keep it as clean of a line as I can. That way my friend paints, she has some clean lines to work with. So that is, where I'm at. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but I also think I'm unsure how I feel because it's so drastic from the yellow. Like over here, it doesn't look terrible, but like here it looks like a blue, here it looks like a blue green, and then like here it looks gray. I don't know. I'm hoping I didn't make a mistake, but honestly, I just keep telling myself and everyone keeps telling me that anything is better than this yellow. So cross your fingers, but I'm gonna keep plugging away on that door over there. I am blasting some 2000s pop music and that is what we are doing. So I'm gonna get back to work and I will talk to you guys later. to push him back These times you break my mind I just can let it go I didn't lose the way Through the things that really matter These complications spin my mind Gotta keep pushing through Yeah, I keep doing my own thing Yeah, never looking back again I can get it, I can make it Yeah, I know it And I'm never looking back again Yeah, never looking back again I can get it, I can make it
All right, it is 11.45, so I'm gonna call it quits for today. I'm gonna get my brush washed, get my pail cleaned up, get my hands cleaned up, and I'm going to get out of here. Uh, I made some decent progress today. We still have a lot to go. I didn't realize how large my classroom is until I started this, but the color is growing on me. Like Now that I see it on the other side of the room, I am loving it. So I think it's just gonna depend on the way the lighting is, but like as of right now, I do like it. I typically have the lights off, so let's see what it looks like without the lights on. I mean, it's definitely darker, that is for sure. But like, I don't know. It looks so nice around this door on this wall. Like no matter what the lighting is, I am obsessed with it. So I'm hoping that like once it's all filled in, you can definitely see the more greener hue to it now. I'm definitely gonna have to switch out these curtains because it's just too much green. But I I don't hate it, you guys. It's it's growing on me. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna get cleaned up, get out of here, go enjoy some chips and margaritas with my girlfriend. Going with my teacher, Bestie. Uh, we taught at a different school in this district together uh, for two years when I lived up here last time. And we're still in the same district now, we're just in different schools, so I am excited. But I need to focus on getting cleaned up, so I'm gonna do that and I will update you guys later when I have something to share with you. So I just got home from having lunch, and I say having lunch very loosely because I literally just had a margarita, and then I had some chips and salsa, and that was it, uh, because I have lunch here at home. But uh, I am exhausted from today. So first things first, my gym workout this morning was the hardest leg day I've ever had in my life. Uh, I don't typically leave the gym hobbling, and I wasn't even out of the gym yet, and I was already hobbling. I, there's a spider on my ceiling and it's huge. I am not physically sore like yet. I know I will be hurting tomorrow. So far I'm okay. Hopefully it stays that way, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be walking pretty weird tomorrow. So I'm struggling with that. Uh, not to mention that I, obviously it's summer, I'm going to bed late, but I'm still getting up at 5.30 to go to the gym at six. So just sleepy. Um, and I'm also, so five, years ago, a little over five years ago, I got my gallbladder out and I still get phantom pains every so often. It's been a really long time since I've had that because I started monitoring my fat intake and my dairy and all of that, but like, I'm, I'm really struggling. It's been about an hour and a half of just straight up pains today. So curious if there's stones in the duct, I don't know, but my gallbladder itself is gone. So we'll see. Um, but I just wanted to update you, let you know that I am home. I'm going to try to get some stuff done around the house and work on some cool stuff. So I am going to go put this battery to charge and I will talk to you guys in a few.